never been so wrong in all my life. Is that what I think it is? Erebor! I do believe the worst is behind us. meeting, is it, Gandalf? No, it is not. The Lonely Mountain troubles me, Sorin. That dragon has sat there long enough. Sooner or later, darker minds will turn towards Erebor. Take back your homeland. Unite the armies of the dwarves. The Arkenstone. It is the only thing that will unite them. What if I were to help you reclaim it? The Arkansas lies half a world away, buried beneath the feet of a fire-breathing dragon. Which is why we're going to need a burglar. How close is the pack? Too close. Continuing their journey, an ill feeling befell the company that they were being watched, and this time not by Azog and his army of Warg riders. Seeking shelter for the night, Gandalf led the company to a nearby location he deemed safe. However, the resident of this place was far from accommodating. Ginan Torak Gulder Dorn Gul Torakisi Mord Epin Skelu Dogus Turim Shadus De Rak Gul Binakar Guan Nash Pick up our scent. Not yet. There is something else out there. There is a house. Not far from here where we might uh, take refuge. Whose house? The friend or foe? Neither. He will help us or he will kill us. What choice do we have? None.
through part 9, this will be the queer lodgings level, and possibly the shortest level in the game. Might be a battle between this one and a spider one that was later in the... It's later on, but anyway. So this is gonna be, I think, the first level of uh, Desolation of Smog, and it's kind of interesting. It's about as eventful as the uh, Bjorn part in the movie was. <laughs> and, I mean, it is a movie, you're supposed to know that they don't follow the books, but I really expected to see more of the werebear. But, oh well. So, as a result, the game is pretty slow when it comes to trying to figure out what to do with that, and what they have you doing is chasing a bee around because you need to get the key to get into the lodge. And pretty much as soon as you get into this guy's lodge, that's the end of the level. So I'd say this level is mainly cutscene and plot advancements and nothing else. But it is still pretty fun. The bees are still the size of your head, which absolutely terrified my brother. And even scared me a little bit because I forgot that the bees were huge and I was watching it in IMAX 3D. So I was a little bit like, because bees are like the one fear that I have in all the world. <laughs> but it was still pretty fun. I mean, I don't think I'd be able to sleep under them or next to them or within 6,000 yards of them, but it was uh, cool to see the bees. <laughs> Well, at least they aren't as evil as Asian, Asian giant hornets. So one thing to remember is that the bee, if you ever can't figure out where it is, is look for the glowing lights that emanate from around the key. And sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't, I don't really know why, but it's not usually too hard to follow. Just go in the general direction that the bee went in, and there he will be. Haha, <laughs> okay. Uh, for this part, you're going to need to jump on the fat dwarf, and first, of course, you just need to feed him some fish, breadsticks, and carrots. Then he will get very lazy, probably gain another 10 pounds, <clears throat> and then you can jump on him and climb up on top of the roof here. And once you get onto the roof and then go to where the bee is, and actually, or once you get on the roof and get the key, then you can open up the door, and that will be it for this level. That is our host. His name is Beorn. He's a skin changer. He's leaving. Get some sleep, all of you. You'll be safe here tonight. <laughs> 